So here's my little friend, Bluey Louie. Made it home on the uh, Salsa Express. <laughs> He's alive! Dun, 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 dun. Well, hi there! This is going to be Pearl's Christmas Decorating Crafts at home. So now, what I've done is I have got a paper cone that I've made from a sheet of paper like this one. And I've just gone and rolled it up. So you can do this at home. Just get a piece of paper. And you're just going to tuck and roll. And then just add a little bit of glue on the inside. And then just trim the bottom of this so it's round. So your cone will be like this. Now, to get us started, what I've done is I've cut up a bunch of little pieces of white paper like this. So just some tissue paper. And I've got myself some liquid glue. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put some liquid glue on some tin foil. And then we're going to take our piece of paper, wrap it around the end of a pencil, like that. And then dip this end of the paper into the glue and then stick it on your cone. And by the time we're done, we should have this nice white fluffy cone that will look like a Christmas tree. So, let me demonstrate. Okay, so as you can see, I've done about half the tree here and I've just got it started. Um, I'm running a little low on glue, so I don't know if I'll be able to finish today, but um, yeah, all you have to do is just add some glue to that bit of tissue paper on the end of your pencil and just continue to apply them all over. Now, just be really careful when the glue is still wet because your tissue is going to want to move around. So you might want to put like um, a piece of paper underneath this so it doesn't get stuck to the counter. But other than that, you just keep applying, y'all. So just have fun. Just add some tissue paper. A little bit of glue and just dab away. Now this does take a little bit of patience and a lot of time so stick with it. I know y'all can do it. Okay so I'm totally kidding about the accent. Um, so I have another project to do with these trees. So I've made myself another cone um, and as you can see here I've already started to cover it. Now what I've done is I've gotten old, um, old pieces of wrapping paper and I've just cut them up into strips so you can get different kinds. I've got probably three kinds here. This is actually a really good project um, that you could do after Christmas even because you have all this leftover wrap, um, wrapping paper and you can use like the scraps of it to make this project. So all I've done is I've cut up wrapping paper in these little strips. They're probably an inch wide by say three or four inches long. And then all I've done is I've got in my glue stick and I've glued just on the top here and then stuck them together and let them dry. And then once they're dry they look like this. And then all I've done is taken that, um, and with my glue stick, my glue gun, I've, um, that's going to be in the outtakes. <laughs> all I've done is I've just run a little bit of glue along the top of it, and then um, just attached it on here. Now the one thing you do want to keep in mind when you're doing this is just to overlap them, because you don't want to have like seams, as you can see kind of there, you've got like a gap in there. So you just, with this other one, you just overlap it. And then when we're done, we should have this really cool looking tree. So, okay, so as you can see, I have finished my tree and I've even added a little pom-pom to the top of it. Um, super cute, turned out really well. And while I finished that one up and that one was drying, I went ahead and finished covering the rest of my um, tissue paper tree. And it's all covered now. Um, now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to attach some bells just to the outside of it here. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. I haven't tried it before. I'm just going to use some dental floss and a needle and attach some little jingle bells to it. Um, oops, it worked out quite nice. What I did is I took some dental floss and I put the two ends together like that. And then I took my little jingle bell and I threaded both ends through the top of the bell. So now you should have a loop at one end and two ends at the other and then loop them through pull it so it creates a little loop on the top then take your two ends and find a long um, sewing needle like used for upholstery to try and fix stuff and it's got usually got a good like big eye on it so you can thread it fairly easily and just thread it through like that now this is the tricky part um, is you take your little cone and then find a spot where you want to put a belt and then just puncture it through Putting your hand on the inside, just make sure not to stab your hand, so move it out of the way when you want to actually poke it through. 
Um, I will say, however, when you get closer to the top, it is harder to put bells just because it's harder to get that needle in at the right angle and be able to pull it out. So do try to put them a little bit lower. So you just poke it through. So now your needle's coming through on the other side. And then pull. And tighten it up. Don't pull your bell in all the way like that because it'll disappear. Let it hang out a little bit. That way too, when you move the tree, you'll actually hear them jingle. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just leave all the threads hanging on the inside and when I'm done I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just put a little dab of glue on the inside so that thread doesn't move out. And then you're set. Okay, so as you guys can tell, it's obviously the next day. Um, the craft took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but it's done. So I let it dry overnight. So there's the first one that you guys haven't seen. Um, and you guys saw the second one yesterday. So um, I did have an idea last night for one more tree, so I'm going to do that today. It's going to be... Um, a little bit smaller than the other ones just to give some height variation and it's going to be fairly simple so it shouldn't take too long. So again, grab some paper. Um, one thing I didn't mention yesterday is when you use your paper you want to get something a little bit thicker like Bristol board. Um, it's going to have a little bit more retention. It's not going to want to cave in when you start adding stuff on because it's going to get quite heavy. Um, so yeah, just go ahead, grab your Bristol board, make yourself another little cone and we'll get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made myself my little cone. I've actually decided to make this one tall and skinny, kind of to give it a more um, cartoon feel. And now I've cut my... I'm only going to use one type of wrapping paper for this one. Um, and it was this really cute green sparkly one with like a reindeer on it. So I've just gone ahead and cut myself like four long strips of it. And then I'm going to cut those into squares. Now, kind of like all my ideas, I haven't tried this before, so I don't actually know if it's going to work. But if it doesn't, we'll make it work. So. Bear with me. My strips up into my little squares. They're all different sizes. There's no real mathematical science to this. Um, and you want to keep it that way too, just because it's going to give some variation and it's going to make it unique. Um, you don't want something that's going to look paper cut, like hand, like, you know, machine done and thrown together in an assembly because these are handmade crafts. So go ahead, get creative, get a little messy. It's all okay. It'll work out in the end, I promise. Okay, so the good news is what I am doing appears to be working um, the way I thought it might. So what I've done so far is I have done, um, just added my little squares to the bottom here and the way I'm adding them is you take a square of your wrapping paper and you apply glue just to the top corner here, that edge, and then along halfway across your square. So I'll demonstrate for you. So with your hot glue gun, just make a strip of, three strips of glue, one, oops, two, and three, just like that. And then you want to apply it. You want to overlap them as well. So I'm going to apply this one right there. Now be careful, you don't want to burn your fingers, obviously. No, Pearl, please let me burn my fingers. Genius. Okay. Oops, that one's a little off center. Anyways, you get the idea. So then we're going to have all these little, like, oops, I'm popular today. We're going to get all these little overlapping guys, um, and then it'll start to look like a Christmas tree. I have almost covered the entire thing. Looks pretty cool, huh? Uh, I feel one, sh one thing I should mention is that as you get closer to the top of your tree, you do need to trim down the size of your squares. So that means going from something like this down to something like this. So all you have to do is, yeah, is just take your original squares and just trim them down a little bit and then just keep going. Um, it does get a little bit trickier. Be really careful not to burn yourself because now you've got... Oops. My point exactly. Now you've got half of this little tiny square covered in glue, so watch your fingers. Okay, so there you have it. You've got three cute little trees that you can easily make from stuff you have at home. Um, I did end up adding a little bow to the top of this one. And so there's the green one all done. It's quite tall. Um, and then this one. I think this one is absolutely my favorite though. It's, it's really fun. Um, so I finished those up just as it's kind of started to snow outside. Let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow. <gasps> Gidget, you came to say hi. <gasps> say hi. <gasps> say hi. Gidget. This is drawing. I have started a new tree project. What is happening to my accent? Um, and with my glue stick, my glue gun, I have, um, that's going to be in the outtakes. Oops. Strips into my little squares. Oops. We're going to have all these little, like, oops. Pop it today. 
No, bro, please let me burn my finger. Please hang up and try again.